Beautiful, that was great. Uh, can we just try a couple other things? This next take at 18 and 19, let's go back to the way you had it started in the previous take. Where do you usually do your work, thinking pre-pandemic? So usually I do my work uh, at my studio. So I have like a private studio set up and I do most of my composing there. You know, there's various stages of my work. So some of it is in my studio and then other parts of it would be going to a mix house. And what about now? Where are you now? So right now I'm at home. <laughs> so the, you can see the piano over there. My mm -hmm. wife is right next to it. Got some plants. <laughs> Got one of these things, a flute. One of the things that's different when you're working remotely, one shell is recording a part and he's phrasing it the way he wants to. I can't quite know how it's going to work out until I have someone in front of me doing it. And then I'll usually have to send that to the next musician who's recording. And then what happens? It's kind of like, it's like a game of telephone? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Previously, I would be there for the recording and then I'd like to just hand it off to a mixer. Whereas now I've become the engineer. Maybe give an accent on the downbeat of 37 and then the hairpin up a bar. Being the engineer on the projects makes me also think about the music differently. It forces me to find inspiration other ways. Try 37 starting a little softer. I do always like recording with musicians in a studio. On Zoom, it's like hard to tell certain things because it kind of cuts in and out a little bit. But at the same time, I've learned a lot about remote recording and the possibilities of how to record with a musician who isn't in LA at the moment. When I first started getting into film scoring, it was just a very different world technologically, you know? this would not have been possible at all. How do you think this experience is gonna change the way you work? I think I'll have a newfound appreciation for the luxury of being in a room with musicians again. <laughs> but then also, I did learn a lot that I can use on projects in the future, like how to mix that mosaic of different instruments coming from different parts of the world. It's fascinating when you see a composition come to life 